Hey guys, welcome to The Woolen Homestead. This is a video podcast all about knitting, spinning, and hand dyeing yarn. You can find me as The Woolen Homestead on various social media, as well as the hand dyed yarns that my husband and I dye at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. You can also find links to all of those places in the description box below. Hello everybody, I have a new camera. Ah, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I have a new setup like from last time and a new camera and I'm so happy so yes so I'm glad that I can kind of up my quality on the podcast and videos and I'm just so excited I also decided that I am going to participate in vlogmas even though today is December 4th Monday December 4th um, I thought I might as well just give it a go why not so um, I already recorded a little bit of footage this morning and yeah so you guys can look forward to that um, but I will talk more about that at the end of the podcast. So first I want to start out with group news. Um, the, the group can be found on Ravelry.com in the groups tab and you can search the Wallen Homestead. You'll find it there and we have some knit alongs going on right now. Um, we have one going on. It's the Basket of Mittens Cal. It's going on until December 1st. Um, you just need to knit mittens. There's no minimum requirement. They don't, they can be for anybody. And you just post them in the finished objects thread. And that is how you enter. So that's going on and we will be continuing that into next year. So um, get excited about that. And then we have another knit along that is going to be starting up January 1st, the, the chatter thread is already open, so if you want to go check it out, you can. It's the Battle of the Brioche Knit Along. This is one that we did last year, or the beginning of this year, and it is for anybody who is, um, well, anybody that loves brioche and is currently knitting on it, or if you are wanting to try brioche but you're nervous, um, it's totally for you. So um, their works in progress will totally be allowed, and... Um, it's just a place for us to help each other out if you're new, if you want pattern suggestions. I do have a bundle in the group, so if you want ideas for brioche patterns, go ahead and check that out. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of talking about our um, yarns right now and different patterns, and so feel free to pop in there and put in your two cents. So that is what's coming up. And then um, other things that are in the group, which I always forget to mention, are we have uh, a new thread called Show Your Woolen Homestead Pride. So if you've knit anything or if you're currently knitting anything, um, you can go show it off in that thread. And then I also have an Ask Away thread if you have any questions um, about the podcast, about me, um, about Ethan, you know, anything that you guys want to know, go ahead and um, ask there. And then we also have an, um, an introduction thread, which is called Come Say Hello. So um, please feel free to go in there and introduce yourself to the group. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out there about um, the group stuff. So um, now with the group stuff out of the way, I will get into uh, works in progress. So this week I have been working on quite a different, few different things. I figure I will start out with my cozy memories because I wasn't even going to talk about this today. But I was working on it this morning and I was like, you know, I have been working on this a little bit. So I think I will share it today. So it is in this big old bag. This big old canvas tote bag. And this is one that my, it's got a nice old stain on it. This is a pretty old bag. Um, but my aunt had embroidered this. Um, a long time ago and I believe this was actually a gift for my mom for Christmas but I can't remember but I'm pretty sure it was and I stole it <laughs> one time when I was probably when I was living at home I've had this for a while so I, it was probably when I was living at home and I was like I'm just gonna just gonna use this thanks mom so we're always we're always crafting together and things like that so I know that she wouldn't care <laughs> I took it it wasn't like I was like maliciously taking it from my mother but <laughs> Mom watches the podcast, so sorry, Mom, I have your tote bag. <laughs> if you want it back, just let me know. <laughs> but I really like it. <laughs> so um, what I have worked on this is, let's see. Currently adding in this yarn, which is um, spun right round in the candy colorway. And these were from a pair of socks that I knit earlier this year. And so this is how it's knitting up so far. And yeah, this is what I have done. I'm trying to find a good way to hold this up. I guess we'll do this for now. Well, I can kind of see through the blankets. I can see what I'm showing you guys. 
but yeah this is the blanket it is growing and I love it um this is a hand spun that I just put in recently this is from a pair of my Christmas Eve cast on socks last year um, it was spun out of fiber from Countess of Blaze and if this is a new one or not but this is um Catherine of Lou Cookie Yarns in the Don't Put Your Wand There colorway Harry Potter yarn and oh I've got Knox Yarn Company I just put this one in the Reverie colorway this is from my fade this one I did show last time I was looking at my notes and I don't remember what this this is a Once Upon a Corgi um but I don't remember what the name was. And then this one I did show last time. This is from my Madewell. So yeah, I am so, so happy with this blanket. And I'm just so excited with how it's growing and it's cozy and I love it. So I've been enjoying working on that. Um, let's see, I use size two, um, US size two needles. And let's see, 49 stitches is my, my square count. I keep all of my little, um, this is like a little journal that I keep in this bag. It just has all of my little scraps of each square that I put in there. So it's kind of fun. That way I can remember what I put in there. And let's see, what else did I work on this week? Oh, Christmas socks. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this is in a bag from Antonella. Thank you, Miss Antonella. I love this bag. I have been carrying this to work every single day. This has been my on-the-go bag um, and on-the-go project as well. And I cannot wait to tell you guys about what I have learned with these socks. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Last time, I showed you this sock and I had just put in the heel. So there's my little marker. Um, this is my vintage Christmas colorway. I think it's trying to focus on me. There we go. So that's my vintage Christmas colorway. And I had just put in this little heel, which is just a little red heel that I dyed. So there's where my marker was. So I knit all of this. So, okay, so last Tuesday, and I'll get to more about this at the end of the podcast, but we went to Bronner's in Frankenmuth, Michigan. And um, this is where I was at when I took these socks with me. And I knit, I've been knitting on these a little bit. I think I knit to probably about here on that whole trip. And we weren't even gone that long. We, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. So I usually prefer to knit on nine inch circulars um, from Chiaogu. That for vanilla socks, you've heard me say it before, that has been my choice. My preference and um, I only have two of those so the other one is on my birthday socks and so to have this sock you know on the go I had put these on DPNs and I was always picking up this one first um, well actually okay I switched I totally switched these to DPNs because I was enjoying working with these but before um, this was the sock that was on the nine inch circulars and then I uh, switched it out so Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm totally getting these mixed up. Erase that. What happened was I took this sock. This sock was on DPNs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so messed up. Okay, so this sock was on DPNs. Um, and this is where I was at when I started it. And I took this to Bronner's. So I knit all the way up to this heel while we were at Bronner's. And I had these on DPNs. So and like I was saying, I usually, you know, would like to go with nine inch circulars, but I knew that I had these on the DPNs and I wanted to kind of catch up so I didn't just get one whole sock done and still have a whole nother sock to go. So I was like, okay, it's time to work on the other ones. <laughs> and um, so I, I um, put these on, or I had these on DPNs and I was just taking them with me and I was working on them in the car. And then I took them out and we were walking around Bronner's and something magical, I don't know if it's the spirit of Christmas or what, but all of a sudden something clicked and I was like 
zooming on DPNs, which never happens before, like never happened before. And it was so funny, like something just gelled with me and I was so comfortable with holding them. I always felt like they were fiddly before. Um, like I would use them, but only if I had to, they were not my preference. And <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I love them now. I love DPNs. I don't know. But so then um, after I got the heel done on, on the pair that I had taken to Bronner's with me, I had switched them out and put DPNs back on this sock because I wanted to get these done. So, and because I now prefer DPNs. I don't know what's going on, but I just thought it was so funny and I'm just kind of going with it. You know, um, I don't know when I was out on Black Friday, I had my birthday socks that were on the nine inch circulars and I had been knitting on them all day. And I think we were out longer that day and I got like maybe just over an inch done and my, and my wrists were hurting. These, like I said, I got, well, it was on this sock technically, but I, on this sock, I got from there all the way up to here in less time and my wrist didn't hurt. I don't know. I think it's a Christmas miracle personally, but I'm really, really excited because <laughs> like all of a sudden my knitting's going way faster. I don't know, but I'm really happy. So I'm just going with it. Um, if I'm preferring DPNs at the moment, then that's what I'm going to knit with. And I'm still trying, like now I'm trying to find like different tutorials on nine inch circulars um, to hold them differently to see if that helps. Cause I had been holding them like this, like this. So my pinkies were in here and then I saw a tutorial where you put your pinkies out here, but I'm still just not super comfortable with that way yet. So, and I think why before it never really hurt or like was I don't know I didn't realize that I, it wasn't going well was because like I didn't do like long bouts of knitting on them like I would knit for just a little bit on them so that's probably why like it didn't hurt before but I don't know something's clicked with DPNs also I never liked knitting with just three like three needles holding the stitches. I like if I did have to knit with DPNs, I would always put the fourth one on and then knit with the fifth needle. I like it like this. It's so funny. And I was like like dorkily in shock. Like I was like, I don't know what's going on. It's so weird. So but hey, as long as it works, I'm happy. So um also these are the yarns that I dyed up for the heels and toes. So I'm doing um, alternates on each. So I do plan to have these in the shop to make up some mini skeins. Um, I just need to figure out how much I need for mine. And then I will be able to make mini skeins or maybe I'll just make a couple. Um, so that way there's still some left over. Um, but yeah, I do want to have these in the shop because uh, we will be having more of that colorway vintage Christmas in the shop this Friday. And so I wanted to offer um, mini skeins for you guys. So if you wanted to kind of do like what I did, um, you'd be able to add those on. So those are my Christmas socks and I am a DPN convert. So moving on. Sweater weather socks. Funnily enough, also, um, I'm also using DPNs on this pair of socks as well. And this is a stitch in you bag. So cute with the little angry sheepies, which I love. Now for this sock, I've got um, the four needles in and I'm knitting with the fifth one. So I'm probably going to switch it over to three. Maybe I did do it already. I did do it already. Cool. I did already switch it over to three. So I forgot I did that because I finished the heel on this. That's pretty much all I did. Um, was I finished the heel and, um, there's a sweet little progress keeper from little bitty delights. So I finished the heel on this guy and then just kind of got everything rearranged. I just started working on the pattern again, but I'll show you guys what this looks like. So this is my sweater weather colorway. And I'm just really, really excited with how it knits up. We will be bringing back a variation of this colorway um, next fall. So forward to that. Um, and then this is what it looks like in the skein.
and I did not say what pattern these were. These are the Monkey Socks by Cookie A, if you could not tell. And um, this is on my sturdy sock base, and I am so excited. I am really liking how this, um, you know, this fabric is knitting up. I love it. So, um, and then one of our, um, one of our customers, Sherry, had mentioned that the, um, the sturdy sock yarn is just a real, like, it's very soft, but it's still a very, like, tough, hard-working sock yarn. Like, it, it's just, she said it was really durable. So, I was very happy to hear that. So, um, the other thing I worked on just a teeny bit this week, like, my main thing has been those socks, those Christmas socks. I've just been loving working on them. Um, but I worked on my Excuse Me shawl just a teeny bit, um, since the last time I showed you guys, but I thought I would bring it out. Especially since we have the brioche net along coming up. So this is my Excuse Me shawl by Stephen West. I've got my sweet little um, progress keeper from Sugar Tots, the little narwhal. And I will be putting my happy little narwhal colorway in here too, so it's just perfect. So I've got, um, this is all Woolen Homestead yarn. So the first color is um, Life is the Bubbles. And then this colorway is, this is actually on my MCN base, and this is Aurora, which this will also be in the shop this Friday, um, but it will be on the sturdy sock base. And the uh, the back side, the, the wrong side, so to speak, is, um, which I actually kind of like this side better. <laughs> I might be using it on the wrong side, but that's the beauty of brioche. It doesn't matter. Um, this was just a one-of-a-kind um yarn that I had dyed so yeah that's what I'm using for that so and I'm also knitting these on Luca needles on a size US 4 those wood needles and I really really like these they're nice and smooth and I'm a fan so um well I'm just kind of like randomly striping these in I'm not doing it in a certain order or anything well I have a certain order but like I I think I might just like um like rotate through them but next I am going to put in my happy little narwhal colorway and I'm so excited so this I kind of took from my um uh the mystery knit along speckle and pop miss uh Stephen West speckle and pop mystery knit along and I don't know if I'm gonna finish it I don't know what to do I honestly don't know what to do I I really want to do the shawl I think I think I it just it's not really something that I find myself that I would be wearing a lot um but I think that paired with the colors that I picked like I love the colors I like them even together but I don't think they are something that I'm going to wear and I I know better <laughs> I should have thought of that before I I picked them but I was just kind of in a really bright mood at the time and I just I mean, my fade shawl is bright, and I, I wear that, so um, maybe I will just continue with it, but I'm still thinking on it, so I'm, I've kind of just put it in time out for now. Um, I took this yarn from it, which if I decide to finish it, I'll just put this back in my shawl, and then I'll just dye up another skein for my, excuse me, shawl, or I'll find something else, but that's, right now it's, it's in there, so yeah, that's my dilemma with that, but I'm just kind of waiting like until the new year to make that decision because I really kind of want to finish it like I really kind of do want to make it I don't really want to start over but I'm still not super far into it um but yeah I just don't know yet so let me know what you guys think if you think I should keep with the colors or maybe go with like a different color palette like maybe something um like if I did like pinks and purples you know because that's something that I like to wear or um or I could just do something completely different. Just let me know what you guys think. Also, the Excuse Me shawl is being housed in another um, bag from Antonella that she made for me. So she has um, Cozy Posy Yarn Company, and she's on Etsy. Um, she does sell bags on there sometimes, but I don't believe she's selling ones like these um, at the moment. I think she sells, um, they're like bigger, like a, like a market bag type. So those are really cool. And she also has beautiful hand-dyed yarn. So go check her shop out. And then, um, oh, I thought I would talk about my spinning plans. Well, I talked about my spinning plans before, but um, 
I have spinning ideas, I guess. So these guys, I talked about how I want to spin this beautiful braid from Fox and Flower. Um, it's just 100% merino and I want to do odd stocks with it. So one sock being all pink, one sock being all gray with opposing uh, heels, cuffs, and toes. So, um, and it doesn't have any nylon in it and I know that there's a lot of um, like purist spinners out there that say, you know, you cannot do that and I, I know I probably shouldn't, but um, I really want to give it a go and um, I thought it would be kind of fun to make like a little mini uh, spinning video series on it like basically how it goes like it might totally crash and burn um, which probably would happen after I make them and wear them you know because they'll probably wear holes in really quick but I'm hoping that I can spin them um, you know and, and ply them and like because I plan on chain plying them so I'll make it a three ply so that's gonna make it more sturdy and then I also plan on knitting them at a really tight gauge so those are my two plans and I'm hoping that with those two combined that it will make for a decent enough sock yarn. So that's the plan. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to like take you guys on the adventure with me. So um, that's why I have, I've, I've waited to start these because I really wanted to wait till my new camera came and um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun. So that's the plan for this set. I don't know when this video will come out. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to like take a video and then post it and not like do the whole thing at once. So it'll be like a very slow, slow thing, but I just thought that would be fun. So that's what I'm got planned for spinning. And then next I'm going to talk about, um, shop news. So there will be an update, um, this Friday, December 8th at 5 PM Eastern standard time. And I will show you, I will show you what will be in the shop, but I just realized I left it downstairs. So I'm going to go grab that and then I will show you what will be in the shop this Friday. Okay. So what will be in the shop this week is, and these are not skeined up because Ethan just dyed these yesterday. We will have Aurora. So you can see close. These are all the pretty colors in Aurora, lots of pinks, orange, yellow. I had a request for this one for the shop, so we dyed this up this week. Well, he did. And then um, we've got Vintage Christmas. So those are the socks that I was knitting on earlier. This is a little bit of a lighter version. And I just, I think it's even more vintagey this way. Like, I just really like this. This is what Vintage Christmas looks like. Love it. So that was Vintage Christmas. And then we're also going to have Christmas Tree Bubble Lights. I love this colorway. I adore it. So much. Oh, it just makes me so happy. And we have bubble lights on our, um, on our Christmas tree and it just, it makes me happy. So that is Christmas tree bubble lights. So that's what's going to be new in the shop. Um, so let's see, I will show you guys now what is in the shop. We've got Hagrid's Happy Hour on MCN. Oh my gosh, I love seeing the yarn on this new camera. It's just so fun. Um, we've got a skein of Back to the Fuchsia. Which I just want to say, I love puns. And I know I've talked about this before, but they just, they make the world go round. I've got Hagrid's Happy Hour on DK, which is a Polworth DK base. It's also super wash. Great for hats and mittens. And we've got Baby It's Cold Outside on the singles base. And these speckles, yum. So that's the singles base. 
we've also got on Polworth Decay Dr. Filibuster's Fireworks for the Harry Potter fans. Which I just got done listening to Chamber of Secrets on audiobook, which I am an audiobook convert as well. I love it. I get so much more done that way if I'm listening to the book. <laughs> so this is um, Peppermint Bark on Sturdy Sock, and it's just a really nice red-pink tonal. on Sturdy Sock. That would also be really good for like if you wanted to do odd socks with Vintage Christmas. I think that would be really cool with contrasting heels, cuffs, and toes. Then I've got... We still have Candy Cornucopia. I know it's a little out of season now, but this one we're just going to keep it in the shop and then um, you know if somebody um, decides that they feel like purchasing some some fall yarn um, it's there so that is that and I've got some more in a different basket so here's what else is in the shop I've got blueberry crumb cake Lots of blues and browns and um, gold purples it's blueberry crumb cake um, we've got sugar plum fairy pinks, purples, gray. Love that. I just think this would look so cute as a little girl's cardigan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That would be adorable. Um, then, oh my gosh, I am in love with these speckles. This is hoarfrost. There it goes. Check out them speckles. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I think he's the king of speckles now. This is amazing. <laughs> like he has got it down. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome. Um, then we have Hogsmeade Holiday. Just another Harry Potter yarn. I really, really like this. And then we've got couple skeins of Earl Grey. There's actually, I think only two of these left. Maybe three. It looks like there's two of these. So that's Earl Grey. And then is this our last one of this? Oh, goodness got one skein of strawberry rhubarb pie so like I've said in the past which oh my gosh also these speckles oh my gosh um but like I said in the past I want to do like a like a dessert line of yarn and just have, so I have my blueberry crumb cake strawberry rhubarb pie just have all these different desserts I just think that would be fun especially like in a mini skein set oh that'd be so cute Maybe that'll be a plan for the new year. So that is what is in the shop um, and what will be in the shop. And then I guess now I'm going to move on to life stuff. So got my camera this week, really excited about that. Um, got it on Amazon and it came with a nice little kit. Um, I've got the box right here. This is the camera. Is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Love it. Very nice um, for, you know, things like podcasting and vlogging and, and things like that. It's great for that. I've also been using it um, for, like, taking pictures of our yarn. Um, but I'm still getting kind of used to the settings on that. But I'm really, really happy with it. Um, then let's see. What else did we do? Okay, so Monday of last week... Um, because I recorded last Sunday. We went and took our Christmas card pictures, so I will try and post a picture here, because those are really fun. We got some really funny outtakes too, so I'll put those in there too. Um, and then um, also while we were out, I asked Ethan if he would take some pictures of um, my, uh, some finished object pictures of my Madewell cardigan by Hohi Locatelli, and he did. So um, we got those taken, so I'll post those here. And then, on Tuesday, we went to Bronner's, 
and I got some footage of that. So instead of putting it here in the podcast, um, I am making a separate vlog for that. So what I'm going to do, I wasn't planning on doing Vlogmas at the time. I was just planning on making like a Christmas time vlog and I was going to basically like go throughout the month of December and kind of add to it. Um, but then I just decided I'm going to try Vlogmas and so now that footage is going to be like a pre-Vlogmas vlog. So <laughs> that will be up um, hopefully pretty soon. I'm hoping I can edit that today. Um, and then that day we also went and, um, oh, and we didn't have my camera yet then, just as a heads up. So I think like part of the footage is this new camera and part of it is, is my phone. So just as a heads up. And then on Tuesday, um, we, oh, that was still Tuesday. On the same day, <laughs> we went and bought our Christmas tree. So I can show you our Christmas tree. We also set it up. Here's our tree, which I also have some footage of going through different, um, different um, ornaments and stuff. So you can see them up close and I talk about them and stuff. So that's part of that vlog as well. And then, um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to participate in Vlogmas. Um, I wasn't going to, I thought that I just would not have any time. And then we got quite a bit of stuff done at the beginning of the month already. And so I'm like, you know, I think I could do it. And then I was also, you know, worried about, is it going to be enough? You know, like, you know, it's not like, you know, I live in this, um, you know, like New York City or something. Like when I watch Brooklyn Knit Folk podcast, like her vlogs are amazing because she lives in New York and, you know, I'm just here in the Midwest. But you know what? It's still really fun to see what people are doing every day. I enjoy a lot of other people's vlogs that, you know, don't live um, in big cities and, um, you know, are just like, hey, this is my life. I woke up and um, knit and took the dog for a walk, you know, like that's my life too. So, <laughs> you know, um, I just thought it'd be fun. So, that's what I'm going to do. I just realized I didn't have to put a ton of pressure on myself. They don't have to be like 20 minutes long. They can just be like five minutes. So um, once I kind of like settled on that, I was like, okay, you know, I can do this. <laughs> Especially like I was saying, um, I think I said this in earlier footage that is not on the podcast, um, that since I have this new camera, I might as well um, have fun with it. So that is, or maybe I did say that on the podcast. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so that is what is going on. Um, so come along with me for Vlogmas. I am going to, um, probably show you guys some of my decorations. Um, like I've got a picture back there. That's Ella when she was a puppy getting her picture taken with Santa at PetSmart and just, I've got a lot of fun things to show you guys. So, um, I'm really looking forward to it. So, I will leave you guys here until next time. Um, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Come join the Ravelry group, join the Knit Alongs, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.